copy. Yeah, I'll pass you a copy. I'll pass you a copy. Yeah.
companies like that and stuff like that. So, so here's our hand chart. Uh, all the times when we started them. Um, here's a duration of the days, uh, whether we completed them or not. I uh, haven't gotten around to those ones just yet. So they're not at the moment that we have the distributed workload here. Um, everything we've done. I uh, just press the maximize. Business owners say the thieves have hit several Orange County gas stations. Orange juice got past for ground as lot of the Cinco and Orange Avenue in Bell Isle. Gail. Well, we can tell you it's the Cinco as well as the Sunoco that the thieves hit. Basically, they hit at the right time when they thought these underground tanks were full, siphoning so out all kinds of gas, and they had lookouts too. The owners of this Cinco on Orange Avenue in Bell Isle are pleading with the public to be on the lookout for these three vehicles. Uh, white pickup truck, a white cargo van, and a green van. A trio of gas siphoning thieves hit the signal last Friday. They had a truck right over the manhole and they get their floor and have a hole on it or something. And they saw the fuel on this is like 20 feet deep and uh, I don't know how, how they can do it. The quick mark and the Sunoco across the street was hit twice April 26 and May 11th. Owner Joe Sarkis caught all of this on surveillance cameras. Look at what happens. One vehicle parks across the street as a lookout. The driver of his pickup parks at the car wash as a second lookout. The man gets out of his truck after a few minutes. It looks like he has a cell phone in his hand. Then he goes over to a vending machine. One van like vehicle with a partially rusted top parks over this diesel tank for about 20 minutes. He never gets out of the vehicle. Apparently, everything is done from the inside. Uh, the come on and spawn for 20 minutes, he can't come straight for 100 gallon. Piece of cake for him. Sarkis so says they pumped about 650 gallons from him the first time and then 350 gallons the second night. You are hard to put too much time just to leave your family to survive. And after somebody, you can take it. Sarkis says he's probably lost $8,000 in stolen fuel after these thieves hit him. He says something like this has happened also in Lancaster 441 as well as gas station at University Drive. But the Sheriff's Office says that's an isolated issue of grand theft. If you have any information, contact Crime Line. The number is 1-800-423-TIPS. 
I'm Gail Paso Brown. Live in Orange County for Western News. All right, so that's the video. Obviously, that is in America. Um, that question? Um, that is in America, but uh, same. It used to be that in the old days, you could take a hose and stick it down in there and be able to siphon up some gas. Uh, there's a little flapper plate here that makes it a little tough to pull the hose back out. There's also a bigger obstacle under here. Okay, that's fine. Sorry for that. Uh, so that's all. Uh, are there any questions? Yeah, I have okay, so how it goes is we start with question from audience. Please um, just ask your questions. So this is going to be triggered electronically, right? So because, because some of them, they are just mechanical. If people go in the wrong direction, that would do the yeah. job. Yeah. So yours would be triggered by a signal right. electronic. Yeah. Is this fast enough from the point they're picket? Because it takes some time to yeah. Yeah. erect. Um, well, in the, in the group report, um, I put them pretty far along that last sort of exit. So it would probably give enough time if the, the computers can sense that you know fuel's been taken out and they've just instantly left, then I, then there should be enough time. There should be about hundred or two hundred meters before they yep. actually hit this. So there should be yeah. plenty of time before they hit it. What runs the sensor? So it will be pretty much faster than expectations. Yeah. Right. So Great. Yeah. Great. No more question from audience. Nope. Thank you. So please just give it a round of applause. No more question from audience. So please give it a round of applause to. Thank you. Thanks very much. All right.